The first thing I want to talk about is Michelle Williams' speech at the Golden Globes on Sunday night. And many of you have probably seen the clip by now. Uh, you've probably read the tweet, seen the pictures of her in that really weird orange dress, talking about uh, her abortion and actually crediting her abortion for her Golden Globes win. We're going to play that clip for you right now. And I'm also grateful to have lived at a moment in our society where choice exists because as women and as girls, things can happen to our bodies that are not our choice. And I wouldn't have been able to do this without employing a woman's right to choose. To choose when to have my children and with whom. Women, 18 to 118, when it is time to vote, please do so in your own self-interest. Right off the bat, where Mich Michelle Williams is talking about this this uh, award she's been given is a reflection that this society uh, is honoring the choices that she's made in her life. And that it wasn't just her professional choices, it was her personal choices that have led her to win this Golden Globe, this peak, this high of her career. But she says something very early on in the acceptance speech that is I hear all the time on college campuses, that sometimes things happen to women's bodies that we can't control. This is crazy talk, but sadly we do hear it all the time on college campuses, that suddenly when a woman engages in conceptual sex with a, with a member of the opposite sex and she becomes pregnant, that suddenly this thing happens and it's magical and it's crazy that she becomes pregnant. Because sadly, a, a lot of us have separated the act of sex from the act of procreation. And I mean, we, we've talked about this before uh, in Explicitly Pro-Life. I've talked about this several times if you've heard my speeches on college campuses. But when two you know, heterosexuals agree to engage in sex, you're consenting to the fact that you may create a unique whole living human being because that's a very natural consequence of you engaging in that behavior. Because every behavior you, you have, every action you take always has consequences. I mean, this is something we instill in our children, right? That your your actions aren't consequence free. And if you're in a heterosexual relationship and you're having sex, one of the natural consequences is that you can get pregnant. But sadly, because of birth control and then abortion in our country, somehow women have kind of been raised to believe that that this like thing of pregnancy is like this crazy thing that can potentially happen to you. But but it has no bearing, it, it hasn't come from anything you've done. Well, that's just nuts. If you're engaging in consensual sex, you have consented to the fact that you can become pregnant. 